hello friends welcome back to my channel and uh, today we are back with another exciting video and uh, in this video we are going to talk about vagrant so you would have uh, seen like infrastructure as code where we discussed about what is infrastructure as code and we spoke about terraform how to use uh, configuration to build your infrastructure in cloud and uh, this tutorial is about vagrant so we'll be talking about uh, all things which you require to know about vagrant so uh, one thing we'll cover as part of this tutorial will be like uh, we'll discuss about what is vagrant why we use vagrant and how to install vagrant so you can set up your vagrant to create your own development environment so we'll also show you how you can create a simple development environment using vagrant and we also see some of the uh, basic commands and also different uh, key terminologies in maker so this will be the agenda of this tutorial so let's get started uh, so if you are uh, new to my channel or if you have not subscribed to my channel i would request you like uh, click on the subscribe button also like my videos uh, give your feedback in the comment section so without uh, further ado let's get started so let's start with what is vagrant okay so uh, vagrant is an open source software product so it's an open source software for building and maintaining your portable virtual uh, software development environment so uh, i have discussed with you guys also shared this tutorial on what is infrastructure as code right so what do you mean by an infrastructure as code like you're going to have uh, all your uh, configuration for your infrastructure as a a core yaml file or some configuration file right and you will write down what is your requirement and once you run uh, the, uh, the codes in the command you will be able to deploy your infrastructure in some cloud environment or docker or something like that right and you manage all those code in your git uh, or gitops uh, so that you can man uh, maintain your uh, versioning and you know it's uh, completely managed so similar way like uh, Vagrant help you to create your own software development environment which is uh, you know on or on maybe on Windows or Linux or a different kind of environment which is isolated from your host. So you can simply you know uh, have your uh, dependencies, your configurations and everything in a you know uh, disposable way like you know you can create a consistent environment without sacrificing of your existing tool. So this is the benefit of Vagrant that in probably for example in you have a Windows machine you want to run a CentOS uh, uh, on the Windows you will have to create a virtual box or VMware and you have to deploy a you know a CentOS or Ubuntu or something like that right or you can use WSL something like that. Now what you can do is uh, you know in Vagrant you can create your own uh, image or you know boxes we call so uh, we'll talk about those terminologies uh, in the upcoming slides uh, then you can use that you know to run uh, this same kind of virtual uh, environment using some virtual machines virtual box or VMware or Hyper-V or something like that on the background uh, and you, once you run this Vagrant uh, commands it will automatically spin up your environment for uh, send OS or uh, or different kind of operating system and so the, what is the benefit of vagrant is vagrant helps you to develop uh, create a development environment uh, very easily okay so this is the statement of vagrant uh, that you know it will help you to create a development environment uh, very easy now if i go to this uh, hashicorp uh, home page you can see this is uh, hashicorp vagrant uh, home page you can see the statement it's a development environment made easy right and you have a download options and you have also called boxes where i told about uh, the different kind of uh, in dockers we have images right similar way in vagrant you have uh, boxes where you have uh, pre uh, existing images for sendoids or ubuntu or anything you can also build up your uh, you know uh, own configuration using vagrant file so you can you can read through this i will link all this uh, information in the video description now moving on to some of the key terminologies which I explained you like something specific to Vagrant is called Vagrant boxes. So the boxes are the package format for a Vagrant environment. So what do you mean by package format? So as I mentioned it's just like a image or a like docker images you have a self-contained image for operating system. For example you have a CentOS. Uh, different persons can uh, customize that CentOS. You, they can own. They can create their own Vagrant files. They can put the configuration. They convert into a Vagrant box, and they can upload it to the uh, repository. So you can. You don't have to build your own 
you know sendo is uh, using uh, your own configuration you just pull that you know the vag boxes vagrant box and you can spin up uh, on your computer so similar way like how this is done something special for vagrant is called vagrant file so the vagrant file is the configuration file where all the configurations of your vms are mentioned so if you are uh, spinning up a uh, sendos means the vagrant file will be defining like uh, uh, this is the how the sendos these are the configuration it needs so all those things are defined in the vagrant file we'll see all those things in the hands on so let's uh, uh, go through these basics first and also some of the other key uh, pro, uh, parameters or terminologies in vagrants are called providers so basically we will be using some kind of providers on the back end like uh, oracle virtual box or vmware or hyper-v or some kind of uh, you know virtual environment for running your uh, vagrant boxes and you also have different plugins which is compatible with uh, no vagrant so you can see like uh, as i mentioned vagrant providers like you know there are uh, different uh, providers like virtualbox hyper-v docker vmware so these are basically required for on the back end so that you know vagrant can spin up the uh, machines uh, whether it's a Sindoise or Ubuntu or anything so these documentation I will link into the video description now let's uh, discuss about how to install Vagrant so we'll be doing the demo on how to install the Vagrant on a Windows machine so in Windows you know you need to have a uh, provider so we'll be using Oracle VirtualBox so you can download the VirtualBox and you can install it and then you can install the Vagrant using binary file whereas in Sindoise or anything you can use appropriate uh, repository packages and you can install it so if you see this documentation for install vagrants, you can see that there are different binary packages uh, supported, right? So if I go to uh, the appropriate package, you can see Windows. You have uh, you know, the different uh, files. You can click on this uh, 686. So you can save it on your desktop and uh, you know you can uh, run it. And uh, you all, what you also need is the base for uh, or, or the provider, which we are, I'll be using Oracle VirtualBox. So you can go to VirtualBox and you can download the VirtualBox and you can install that as well. Now if you see for uh, for me I have already installed Oracle VirtualBox and you can see I have uh, some uh, machines running which is not relevant to uh, no, uh, Vagrant. Uh, but you know VirtualBox or some kind of uh, backend provider is in required for Vagrant to run. So uh, I have installed Oracle VirtualBox you can uh, wait for you know. Uh, you can install any kind of provider which you like and I'm waiting for this Vagrant file to be downloaded so we can install Vagrant. Now if you want to run uh, Vagrant on li uh, li Linux or Mac you can see these commands so in Mac you can use uh, bri install Vagrant or in Linux you know it's Ubuntu you have its own uh, commands uh, for uh, Ubuntu if it's for SendOS you have its own repository so it's have all kind of uh, you know, commands over here so you can use uh, those uh, commands to install it okay so we are uh, doing it on windows because uh, it's uh, pretty easy to use the uh, vagrant on windows because it's uh, help you to create your own uh, you know instances for example if you want to run a kubernetes cluster you can use vagrant and you can create multiple uh, machines and you can build up your uh, kubernetes cluster using vagrant so now this download is completed so you just run it uh, the installation you can see it's uh, looking for uh, you know, some basic so it's not a uh, complicated one you just click uh, next next and you can install it so you can uh, click on next and you know uh, since I have already installed Vagrant it's asking for me to repair or remove in your case you can just click on uh, the next and you can install it so I'm just cancelling it because I already installed Vagrant now once the Vagrant is installed what you can do is you can use a command prompt or you can use you know some uh, CLI uh, you know for example I'm using uh, git uh, bash because I can use uh, you know um, using git bash I can use a Linux command here so for example uh, I can use ls or you know uh, all those Linux command here now if I go to background and hyphen hyphen version you can see the Vagrant version is listed here, right? Vagrant 2.2.19. Uh, so that means for me, Vagrant is already installed. Okay. So now let me uh, also show you uh, a few other commands which we can use it to uh, download an uh, image and we can spin up some uh, machines uh, development environment in Vagrant. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create create a CentOS uh, machine. Okay, using Vagrant image. Or vagrant box 
So for that, what I will do is I will create a folder called uh, Syndoise and uh, I'm going to get into that. Okay, so I will go to CD Syndoise. So I'm inside Syndoise. You can see I am uh, no, uh, inside the folder Syndoise. Okay. Now we told about uh, Vagrant boxes, right? So uh, similar like uh, the Docker uh, Hub, uh, no, there is a uh, no place where you can search for vagrant boxes predefined boxes so it's uh, this is the link which i will link into the video description so if i search for sendos here you should be able to see the uh, existing sendos images in this uh, vagrant boxes okay so that you don't have to create your own uh, vagrant file now if you see this is a sendos uh, you know image now you can see this is the vagrant file actually it is configured to do this like config vm box equal to sendos hyphen slash and uh, how to build up this one you can run vagrant init sendos slash seven and you can run vagrant up okay so i'm going to run this uh, command uh, vagrant init sendos uh, slash seven so let me run this now you can see it it has uh, created a vagrant file inside this directory right so now you can see there is a file called vagrant file and if i read this you can see the only content it is uh, you know uh, without this um, command line is this config box right send os 7 right and this vagrant config file do config right so this is the same thing which we have seen here uh, the vagrant file right is the config and uh, this config box and end so it's basically it's a simple file these are uh, some other parameters which you, if you want you can enable it so the the basic requirement for this file is like this you uh, know these three lines config uh, box and uh, these three lines are, is the one which is uncommented right so that's the background file so now what we can do is uh, i will call background up okay i can specify the name of the uh, image also or this box but uh, since i am inside that folder i will just i have only one background file i will just call background up now you can see it's uh, starting the virtual box right uh, provider and it's importing this uh, base box and OS. So now it's uh, trying to spin up this, uh, you know, our machine uh, you, for this and OS. So let's wait for that to be completed. Now basically what it's doing is it's actually creating, uh, you know, a send OS machine on this virtual box. Now you can see it's uh, creating one machine over here. We are not creating it manually it's actually done through your uh, command line or your uh, configuration file right so that is something we talk about infrastructure as code so you can create your infrastructure using your configuration files or declarative you know files where you don't have to create things manually so that's how what we are doing now so you can see doing all those uh, things which is uh, to build up your sendos machine now you can see that it has uh, completed. Now if I go to Vagrant status. Now you can see there is a current machine states, right? So this machine, it's called default and it's running on virtual box. So now if you have multiple uh, machines running, you should be able to see all those things in this list. Okay, so let me clear out the screen. Now what I can do is I can log into this uh, machine. So now I'm inside this uh, normal Windows where I have this uh, Vagrant file, right? Now I can connect to this uh, SendOS machine which is running on this Vagrant uh, instance, okay? How to log into that? So you can use uh, Vagrant SSH and you can call this, uh, you know, uh, your uh, machine name. Now we can see we are logged in inside to that background box. So if I go and list it or if I go to cd slash, go to the root folder, you can see I'm inside a Linux uh, CentOS machine now, not inside our uh, Windows where we have the background files and everything, right? So this is how it works. Now if you can do all this, uh, whatever you want to run on this uh, CentOS machine, uh, and you know still this is running on your windows uh, uh, server or windows client right but you're running a, a vagrant box which is a sendos machine similar way you can run multiple you know uh, machines on this windows you can create a cluster of your kubernetes you can do all those things for your development using vagrant boxes now let me exit from this you can destroy you know this uh, vagrant uh, box as well so you can use vagrant um, destroy and i think it's i will give the name default 
you can call it if you don't have multiple uh, instance i think you just call background uh, just like you use background up you can just use background destroy to automatically delete uh, you know your uh, background box now you see you can asking like uh, whether you want to destroy it so i'll just give uh, yes so it's forcing shutdown and it's restoring the machine so you can see you know that is how we did the you know um, cleaning up uh, of your uh, virtual machine running on the background in box so you can see once we destroyed the other machine is uh, gone as well from here so it's pretty simple you see that you know you can easily create uh, multiple background instances only thing is you just need to have background files you can configure the background file as well so that you can make the changes inside your uh, machine if you want to set up something you have a specific configuration we want to put into sendos you configure it in the background file so once you up the background machine you have a machine with all your configurations so uh, this is how we can use uh, you know vagrant for your infrastructure as a code uh, we will see more about this in the upcoming uh, tutorials this is the basics where i want to introduce you to vagrant then we will see more about we also want to build up some of our kubernetes cluster on vagrant uh, which we will see in the upcoming tutorial so i hope this uh, gives you information how to set up vagrant and also you can see the different command uh, clis which you can use it on vagrant like vagrant boxes we explain we have uh, cloud commands we have connect commands we have destroy which we already seen we have uh, init uh, halt init we already seen we have a uh, login command package command we have plugins power powershell we have also seen some command like ssh we have already seen we have uh, a lot of other commands as well uh, for vagrant which we will see in the upcoming tutorials but i hope uh, this one uh, you are able to understand what is vagrant and why we need to use vagrant uh, for our development instances so thank you for watching i would uh, request you like if you are new to my channel or if you have not subscribed to my channel click on the subscribe button also give a thumbs up or like my videos if you like it you share it with your colleagues and others and also give your uh, comments in the uh, your feedback in the comment section so thank you for watching